Hey, you're touching a man with a saw. You don't touch a man with a saw. What are you thinking? I'm sorry. I could have hurt myself. I could have hurt you. There's a ton of hurt that almost happened here. I really am sorry. I, I've never been on a job site before. It's nice. OK, where are you from? Chilton. My name Come is. Come on, Chilton. No, it's Rory. Chilton's my school. Uh, you got a hammer? Oh, yes, sir. There is it. Oh. It's a real hammer underneath. That's a hammer? It's just dressed up a little. You dressed up a hammer? N no, my mother did. She does that. She, um, she takes things that aren't pretty and makes them pretty, like a hammer. You know, one time she made little individual outfits for my liquid paper bottles. A clown, a cowboy, a, a newscaster. She's not insane, she just sounds it. OK. Work here. Hey, wear these. Don't look up. Pay attention to your surroundings. The words duck or run mean duck or run. Wear sunscreen. Drink water. Get a button on the way out. That's it? That's the instructions? Yep. But I've never done this before. Well, tomorrow you won't be able to say that. But people actually have to live in these houses. They may have kids or pets or breakables. If you get in trouble, ask the person next to you. Uh, look out! Hey, you learned fast. <laughs> I didn't even mention that one. My wall. What? I've been working here. I put together this entire wall. Go work someplace else. You put together this wall? Go help with cement. It's very impressive. I've done it a million times before. It's no big deal. Louise, what did I just tell you? Use a grub axe for that. Bite me. Funny, I never pictured you as a Bob Vila kind of girl. Rebuilding Together is an extremely prestigious and respected organization. I've been volunteering for them for years. Really? You just love the overalls? I don't. Harvard does. What does that mean? <sighs> When you apply to an Ivy League school, you need more than good grades and test scores to get you in. Every person who applies to Harvard has a perfect GPA and great test scores. It's the extras that put you over the top. The clubs, charities, volunteering, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I started volunteering in fourth grade. I handed out cookies to the local children's hospital. By 10, I was leading my first study group. The youngest person in the group was 12. Wow. I've been a camp counselor. I organized a senior illiteracy program. I worked a suicide hotline. I manned a runaway center. I've adopted dolphins, taught sign language, trained seeing eye dogs. But when did you have time to have a life? I'll have a life after I graduate from Harvard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the drainage on the south side of this place sucks. Hi. Madeline. Bye. Hey, you look good in dirt. Dean, hi. So how was it? Long day. Long, long day. Well, the day is over. Let's talk about the night. Uh, there's a 7.30 showing of Barbarella, and I thought you could bring your mom's purse, you know, the one with that monkey face, and we'll sneak in some burgers and... What? I can't. Get your mom's purse? I can't do anything tonight. Why not? Because I have a lot of planning to do. What planning? I'm like 10 years behind on my extracurriculars. What are you talking about? Paris has been accumulating these things since she could walk. I mean, she has a list of good deeds that could bump Mother Teresa off the Harvard list. OK, I'm lost. I've been studying my butt off my whole life, and I really thought that that was enough. But then Paris tells me that everyone makes good grades, and it's the extras that put you over the top. And I thought that she was messing with me like she always does, but she's right. I mean, it makes total sense. What does? Good grades aren't enough. I need to do things. I need to volunteer. I need to work for charity. I need to help the blind, the orphans. I don't know. I just need to do something. 